Here is a quest 2 beginner's guide, and by the end of the video, you will turn into a quest 2 professional. First off, I'm assuming that you already bought your quest and have it in hand with you right now. Open it up and you will see a few things in there already. The headset itself, both controllers, and a little box. Inside that little box will be the charging wire and the brick that you plug the wire into. There is also a glasses spacer that comes with your quest 2, but I already broke mine. Take your quest 2 out of the box and then turn it on. But before you do that, download the meta app on your phone. It could be at any phone, it could be iPhone, Android, it doesn't matter. Don't worry about reading any manuals that come with the headset. They're useless anyways and it's not like you can read. Download the app on your phone to actually set up your quest and once you download the app and connect your quest, you are now one step closer to becoming a quest 2 professional. Now that you have your quest fully booted up, here are some things to do for your very first time. There's a game that is already installed onto your headset called First Steps and this game is pretty much made for quest 2 dummies like you to go ahead and play. This game will help you get used to the controllers and the headset and VR experience as a whole and then once you get used to that game and finish it I recommend going to the store and trying out demos for other games you might want to try in the future one game that I recommend trying is super hot it's a classic game in the VR space you can try the demo for around 30 minutes or I think it's just a certain level and you can also do this for other games meta also has a sale every once in a while for 30% off for any game that you want so take advantage of this while you can monkeys there's also a way to get secret free games and if you want to know how to do that subscribe and then let me know in the comments whether or not you would like to see it now that you turned on your quest set it up and downloaded some games i'm now going to teach you some advanced tips and tricks to help you become a quest 2 professional hand tracking is a really great feature that you should turn on right now hand tracking is a feature on the quest where the four cameras in front of the headset are used to track your real life hands and put them into vr this is definitely the best feature to exist on the quest and if you want to turn it on go into settings then movement tracking and then you can turn on hand tracking from there hand tracking is useful for times where you're feeling lazy the times when you don't have the controllers on you and you just want to scroll around through the menus or when you want to play a game that actually supports hand tracking here's another tip that i have on making you a professional quest 2 user on the headset you can actually download apps that you normally use on your phone you can watch your favorite youtuber which better be me on youtube inside your headset or watch your favorite netflix show or you could be like your old grandma and use the facebook app inside of the headset if you want if you want to learn how to use these apps simply just go into the store and search up any app that you want not all apps are going to be on the headset though just giving you a heads up before the video continues i want to give you a warning and if you don't listen this can stop your progress on becoming a quest 2 professional and even break your quest 2 entirely my warning to you is to keep your headset away from the sun if your headset is ever left facing a window there's going to to be sunlight going into the lens and then your quest 2 will be damaged your quest 2 will suffer from lens burn-in making it completely unusable what i recommend doing is buying a vr cover for your headset lens they're really cheap you can just find them on amazon but if you're too broke to afford that then simply just keep it away from the sun in general or put like a, a rag on it we're now halfway on you becoming a quest to professional but before we get there i want to give you another tip and that's about saving battery life in order to save your quest 2's battery life for the the longest you want to follow a simple rule when charging your quest 2 only let it get to around 85% and when you use it don't let it go below 20% what this does is save your battery life from being ruined in the long run now no matter what you do your quest 2's battery life will get worse over time but by following this rule you can at least save it by a little there's also another life hack that I want to talk about and this one is thanks to one of my viewers I learned a new way to get more battery out of my quest if you have a phone battery pack or an extra battery case somewhere you can actually plug that into your quest and just get extra juice out of it rather than just wasting a lot of money on a head strap that includes a battery pack this is just a fun little thing i learned from my viewers and shout out to whoever said that here's a tip that can save you a lot of time you can actually take quick and easy screenshots with your controllers this is meant for those moments in game where you want to take a quick picture or capture a funny moment in gorilla tag to do that hold the oculus or the meta button on your controller and press the trigger this this makes showing the best moments on Gorilla Tag a whole lot easier to share with your friends. Finally, the last tip that I have for you, and this can completely transform the way you use your Quest 2. I recommend buying a head strap as soon as possible, or maybe as soon as you buy your Quest 2. The head strap that comes with the Quest 2 is actually terrible, and it's worse than your looks. It's very flimsy and makes the Quest 2 way too front heavy. I personally bought the Bobo VR Elite head strap, and it's the best head strap that I've ever 
ever bought. It's actually the only head strap I've ever bought, but there are cheaper options on Amazon that are probably almost just as good. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe and stick around because I will turn you into the best Quest 2 user there has ever been.